friends reading what I said about them in my book. Miriam is one of the first friends to visit me in West Virginia, a tiny, energetic, part-time burlesque dancer. Miriam is usually a ray of sunshine. Today, however, she's a gray storm cloud. You sound like you're reading the children. Heavy with rain. <laughs> Am I being ruthless? <laughs> <laughs> I still can't stop thinking about Thad, she says. Real person name has been changed. Uh, <laughs> I give her a big hug, but inwardly I'm groaning. Why is she still obsessing over this guy? He ha he wasn't that great to begin with, and they broke up more than a year ago. Um, but did you see his biceps, though? Like, the biceps that were It was so, yeah, it was so hot. They're very, very bicep -y. But, like, he didn't have to get emotional about it. That's true. I've already given Miriam my patented three-step breakup advice. One, hide your ex's pictures. Two, block him on social media. Three, steer clear of him in real life. She's been following it, she swears, but it's just not working for her. So basically she goes through how I can't get vision, <laughs> visual, I can't get images out of my head that I keep replaying them over and over. And Sadie has aphantasia. And so I can't visualize at all. She, she, so she asked me if all of the visualizations is terribly distracting and I say yes. Um, and uh, Miriam, who has ADHD, says it is distracting. Her busy mental life sometimes makes it hard for her to function. Suddenly, I have a lot more sympathy for the fact that she is always running late. Aww.